Hello? Oh, you need a water filter install? Yeah, no problem. We got one. Yeah, set it up. All right, Julius Bogner here. We're putting this beautiful inline filter in this house. So it's got two female connections on either end. We have to go from these two female connections to the PEX connections inside the house. We're gonna use a couple brass adapters to make that transition to cut this in. Now with this filter, we're not gonna need isolation valves on either side. This has a serviceable valve right on the top. We're gonna be able to close this off, drop that filter. So this is gonna be a cut in job. Now, when you're, when you're installing these filters, you have to be conscious of the working pressure. Uh, this one here, this is max pressure, it's 125. So before we go ahead and put this in, we're gonna go ahead down to the hose bit of the house. We're gonna check the operating pressure of this house here. Uh, this is important because you could easily blow out these filters, blow out the gaskets, flood the house. You're making a weak link inside of this house now. So uh, if our pressure is too high for this filter, we cannot use this filter. I've been on jobs where we've been 150, 160 PSI working pressure. So um, I always check and I'm always conscious of, of um, that pressure. So let's head right down. Let's get started. All right, look. You look fantastic. Beautiful. Like, like a million bucks. Yeah, beautiful. So we're back at the house. Wait, wait. So we're back at the house. We're gonna go ahead and check this outside spigot. This spigot is connected to your, your entire water system. So any pressure from that main to the spigot, we're gonna read. So first, we're gonna go ahead and move this hose. Okay. So we're gonna screw on a 200 PSI gauge. Okay, so we're showing 29, 30 PSI. So we're well within our working pressure of that filter housing. The filter housing was 125 PSI, so max. So we're good here. So let's take and undo this. We'll head back down and go and get started. All right, so we're back up at the truck. I got everything I need laid out here. We're getting ready to go down. I just wanna go over what we got before we go down. I got my new filter here. I got a filter wrench, pressure gauge. I got a saw, three quarter, uh, PEX tool. I got some uh, gloves, always carry my gloves. Uh, I got a pro press tool with a three quarter uh, press on it, two adjustable uh, wrenches, tape measure, Teflon tape, emery cloth, a small piece of copper pipe, uh, some adaption fittings, three quarter, and a tubing cutter and a bucket. So let's go ahead, let's get started, and let's go make some money. Okay. So we're back down in the basement. We're going to be installing a filter for this uh, homeowner. Uh, this is the general area where she wanted it. So I've got room here. I've got 16 inches here. So that's plenty of, of uh, pipe there that we can cut out and make this thing work. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, get ready to assemble this, uh, this filter. Uh, this filter has a really easy on and off valve on the top of it. So we don't need to do any extra supporting. This is going to work out perfect. So let's put it together. All right, so this is where the water is coming into the house. It comes in through this pipe, through the horns, goes this way through the meter, and then goes back up in the house. So this customer here has a uh, isolation valve, so we're just gonna close it off there. But if you didn't have that, you also can shut it off on these isolation valves on the meter. Just turn them down, and they've got little uh, lock ports on there, so. Okay, now, so we're ready to go. So let's go ahead, head back over, and then get this filter done. All right, so we're back down in the area. We're going to install this filter. Uh, so we're going to take the filter housing here. The easiest way to do this is uh, we're going to take and screw the base to the top of the housing. But first, I'm going to put a little bit of plumber's grease on this uh, gasket here. And we'll go ahead and screw that on. Okay. Just noting that this is a directional filter, so we have an in and an out. I'm going to put this between my legs here. And uh, here's our adaption fittings here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap our Teflon tape 
I always do it. Uh, I always put the uh, the fitting in one hand and use the other and push away. That's how I always remember. Three wraps. One, two, three. Clean off any excess that can get caught in that pipe. Push the Teflon tape down into the threads. one of our adjustables okay we don't want to bottom it out we just want to uh, get it in there nice and snug okay so our next fitting there we go three wraps again one, two, three. Push that Teflon down into the threads. Sometimes you run them in reverse to catch the threads the right way. But if the threads don't go in freely, then uh, uh, definitely um, back it back out because you don't want to cross thread it. Okay. Okay, so now on our inlet side, we have, uh, this is a pro press fitting that's gonna go to copper. And then we have our PEX fitting that's gonna go right directly to the plastic pipe that we have. So we need to take and put a, um, piece of pipe and another pro press adaption fitting on there. So uh, making this, this connection here, we want to take and go ahead and clean this this pipe. Sand that down. We get a nice shine. We wipe that. Wipe the sand from the sandpaper off and any grease that could be in there. Look inside your fittings, look at your O-rings, make sure that there's no, there's no cuts inside. Push in, make sure it bottoms out. Same thing here. Make sure we get that clean. Okay, so now we have uh, PEX to PEX on the outside. We're just gonna take and crimp this with the uh, Pro Press tool. It's already on. In there tight. Alright, so now we got this all together, we're going to go and take a measurement between the two. One other thing I want to talk to you about, the reason why I add this pipe, it gives it just a little bit more rigidity because we're putting it in line uh, with some PEX pipe. Again, there is some hangers, so there is going to be, there'll be some strength there, so we don't have to put a bracket, but you can also get bra ones with brackets that come off and you can mount them to the studs, mount them to the concrete. So let's go ahead and get our measurement. Again, our flow direction is important because our flow is coming from the street into our building. So this is gonna be a direction of flow. You can see here right in the top, it shows in and out. Let's see, so we're gonna measure from the inner, inside of the socket of the fitting. Okay, so we got uh, 10, and, 10 and seven eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and put that filter down. We're going to mark out 10 and 7 eighths.
Okay. This is where our bucket comes in. The bucket right underneath the good water flow through our filter. We don't slow our system down. Going to install the housing. We're going to make sure we bury that in. We're going to make sure that our sights, we can see our pipe made it through all the way. Good there now. Now we're going to go ahead and press our fittings. All right. So the filter housing is installed. We need to put the filter in um, and spin this back off. So we're gonna go ahead and put our filter in. We go ahead and head up there and make sure we don't cross thread it. Again, back it back, back off if it tightens up too, too early. Okay, use our filter wrench. So you get it on snug. You could bring it, bring it around a quarter you can always go back and just tighten that up if, it, if you get a little drip. So we're at the point now, we're gonna go ahead and turn the water on. Our valve is up here. It can be closed nice and easy uh, for uh, serviceability. So that worked out great. And uh, now it is open. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the faucets on to the house. We're gonna go ahead and um, let all the air blow out. Any debris that could have got in there, we're just gonna let it blow right out those faucets. Okay, now so things here went beautifully. Uh, just want to recap a couple things. We uh, put our fittings together, our adaption fittings for our filter. Put a little bit of oil in that O-ring for the next person who has to service it. So it goes, uh, screws in uh, nice and smooth and comes off nice and smooth. Uh, we put this little piece of copper on here, gave it some rigidity. Um, and uh, we use ProPress. Uh, adapters and we also use PEX adapters to, uh, to cut this in. This um, cartridge here has a, uh, a top that we can um, close and close off. The release of that little bit of water is taking the pressure off the inside. Now it's easier to take and pull this cartridge off and replace it. I'm going to turn that back on. You'll see it repressurizes. And now we're ready to go. So this, this valve here on the top, when it's straight, the water is going uh, in this direction, uh, direction of flow. This, this job is about two hours, two and a half hours for a plumber to do by the time he shows up uh, and, and gets it done for you. So it'll save you, it'll save you that time, it'll save you that money. You guys can do this, continue to watch my videos and get things done yourself. Um, Let's go to the next job.